Well, Sophia, can you smell the jail? Yes, I'm sure of it. There's a jail somewhere in this city. So there really are more jails besides the one in Shibuya? If there's a jail, then something rotten's going on around town. You're right. We'll need to look into that first. And how are we supposed to do that? Sendai's a pretty big city, after all. We could check some more of the popular sightseeing spots. We might hear something if there's people around. Great thinking. And what's more, we're right here in Mount Aoba Park, home to the statue of Lord Masamune. Dude, you can check out the statue tomorrow! I'm starving! Excuse me? There's no guarantee the statue will still be here come sunrise. A trip is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Once you've set a plan, you must act on it without delay. Ah, <sighs> there he goes. I'll never understand that logic of his. By the way, Mako-chan, did you find out if it's okay for us to sleep in the car tonight? Yes, I actually just got confirmation. At least we won't have to worry about finding a place to sleep. And it looks like there are lots of sightseers here, so... We should have plenty of chances to ask around. Should we check out the statue? It's only a short walk from here, right? It's close. Very close. Then let us depart. Lord Masamune awaits. Oh, so this is it! This is that Masamune statue Inari was going on and on about. He looks so cool. I bet he'd be cutting down shadows left and right if he were in a jail with us. Such remarkable craftsmanship. It's truly the one-eyed dragon in all his glory. Indeed. I should have expected as much from such an icon. We must come back during the day and... Hmm? The hell? What's all this about? Prince of Nightmares, Volume 1. 20th reissue celebration? Reissue celebration? So they're promoting a book? I doubt they got permission to do this. Maybe it's some kind of prank. What a reprehensible miscreant. Putting up such tasteless flyers for their own gain. Let's take them down. <sighs> That's better. Well, you happy, Yusuke? Yes. Now that I've seen the great Masamune, my apologies for taking so much of everyone's time. Let's move on. All right, that's one item off the list. Next up, Deep Tongue City. <laughs> Let's see if these local flavors are enough to impress a sophisticated palate like mine. Oh, sorry. It might be hard to get in if we bring a cat along. What? Oh, oops. That's good. Ryuji, cut it out! You're spitting all over me! <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think Yusuke's crying over here. I don't even want to know what his regular diet is like if this is enough to make him cry. Either way, food's delicious. Hey, let me have some too. Uh, I swear, you are the noisiest cat on the planet. Ask him to split some with you. You heard the dude? Too bad. Just gotta make do with the smell. Ah. Don't be such a pig! I'm hungry too, you know. Not so loud, you idiot! Is that a cat I hear? Oh shit! Am I hearing things? I could have sworn I heard a cat. Oh, uh, nope. Not a real cat, at least. Uh, but we were just practicing our cat sounds. <laughs> right, Ryuji? Uh, meow? Oh, come on. You're not fooling anyone. Sounds to me like he's in the bag of the gentleman with the glasses. Oh, that's sweet. Are you going to share? You and your cat should partake in the finest beef tongue this restaurant has to offer. 
What? Hey, not so loud! Oops, sorry, sorry. You're right. You get thrown out, then no more beef tongue. By the way, is this your first time having Sendai beef tongue? I should tell you, the oxtail soup's to die for. Did you know oxtail soup is packed with collagen? A lot of people seem to think it's good for your skin. They say it's not as effective when ingested, but there's a fair number of reports that suggest otherwise. Human cognition can be quite misleading. You may think you feel a change when none has occurred. This is the placebo effect and... Yo, dude, she's just going on and on. Does she even notice us talking right now? This overwhelming onslaught of pointless info. We got ourselves a nerd, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, sorry about, you know, the bag thing. Huh. What? Oh, you mean the cat? Don't worry. I won't tell the staff or anything. By the way, are you all students? Hmm. I could see a couple of you being in college, but not you. You've still got an air of innocence about you. In which case, you'll be taking your entrance exam soon, right? Have you decided where you're going to apply yet? Oh, forgive me. I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Kuani Jinose. I work as a researcher over at Toho University. Hey, you guys should come check out the campus. It's way up in the mountains, but it's a lot of fun. Lots of bears this season, too. The bears? Oh, uh, you know, we kind of got something going on already, so we don't exactly got the time. See, I see. Yes, well, it's important that you do what you want while you're still young. Allow me to impart a little treat till next we meet. Uh, sure? Well then, I've had my fill of beef tongue, so it's probably best if I get going. Farewell, young ones! So, uh, she was weirdly energetic, huh? Well, thankfully, we avoided getting in trouble. We should be grateful she didn't tell on us. Sorry, that was my fault. Ah, uh, I got carried away too. Sorry, Mona-chan. We'll buy you some sasa kamaboko later. You mean the fish cake on the skewers with that nice layer of jar on top? Oh, I can't wait! Nice! Oh my gosh! Oh, his latest work was just perfect. I was born with him. Two nights in a row, if you can believe that. Speaking of which, I ran into that team at the station today. There's no way I'm missing that. All right. Let's finish eating, and quietly this time. Yes, ma'am. Ooh, I'm stuffed. How you can eat five bowls of rice is beyond me. Is your stomach a black hole or something? Look, if they're offering free refills, then you can bet I'm ordering them. Indeed. You can eat the first bowl and focus exclusively on the glistening of the meat. Then the aroma on the next, and so on. Pretty sure that's just you. Well, I will say the food here certainly is delicious. Yeah! <laughs> Good job, Sophia. It was, as they say, a piece of cake. Guess we should leave where we eat up to Sophia now, huh? What's going on over there? Natsume-san! Your lady says she was just amazing as always! Natsume-san! Over here! Can you please sign my copy? <laughs> Thank you for all your support! Whoa, hold on now. Only one autograph per person, please. Oh, my apologies, but could the men please go to the back of the line? Ladies first, you see. Who the hell's that? He looks pretty popular. I heard that woman say latest book. Does that mean he's a writer? Oh, oh, oh. Hello there. Are you looking for an autograph as well? Or perhaps a handshake? Huh? Um... Oh, how terribly rude of me to keep such lovely fans waiting. Please, accept this as a token of my apology, yes? Don't worry, I've already signed. Um, okay. 
Listen, uh, we were just passing by. Ah, is that so? It seems I got a little ahead of myself. Prince of Nightmares, by Ango Natsume. Yours truly, Ango Natsume. It's a pleasure. Prince of Nightmares, that's the name from those flyers on the Masamune statue. My flyers on Masamune statue? Ah, oh, I think I know what happened. That's most likely the work of some of my more zealous fans. I appreciate them promoting my work, but it appears they went overboard somewhat. Honestly, they can be a real handful sometimes. Allow me to apologize on their behalf. In exchange, allow me to offer you a kiss. Yo, back off, dude. Can't you see you're making her uncomfortable? And who are you supposed to be? I believe I was addressing these lovely young ladies here. I thank you not to interrupt. Mm, sorry, but they're with us. You got a problem, you can always talk to me. <laughs> Do you seriously think you can get away with speaking to me like that? <laughs> My, this one's got some backbone, doesn't he? Mr. Natsume, we need to get moving soon. <laughs> well then, it seems I must be going. I've a magazine interview to get to. To all those who have read my book, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Natsume! I love you! Oh, he's just so dreamy. I'll have to buy ten more copies tomorrow to show him just how much I care. Was that man? I don't know if he was some local big shot or whatever, but he sure was pissing me off. He was a strange one for sure, but the people around him seemed really happy. Why was that? Probably because they're a bunch of weirdos. I must agree. He wasn't at all deserving of such praise, even in the form of flattery. Are you all right, Haru? Mm hmm. I was just a little surprised, is all. How'd a jerk like him get so popular? Ugh, it doesn't make any sense. Hmm. There might be something else going on here. He could even be changing people's hearts. You mean, he's the monarch of the Sendai Jail? It's just one possibility. No, I, I think you might be onto something. If he's the monarch, then everything else totally makes sense. Huh, I got my laptop back at the RV. Should be able to dig something up from there. All right, let's go over what we know so far. Sophia, you can confirm there's a jail here, correct? The smell got a lot stronger once we entered the city. So yes, I'm sure of it. And the man we met earlier, his name was Ango Natsume? I just did a quick search on him. Here's what came up. Ango Natsume, grandson to renowned writer Sogo Natsume. Currently a successful light novel author. Says the guy kicked off his career with his debut work, Prince of Nightmares, which won the grand prize in the Sokaisha Awards. This thing's selling stupidly well. It sold a million copies alone. A million? That's kinda nuts, right? Are you kidding? It's a borderline miracle. Debuts almost never hit numbers like that, even the really good ones. I checked social media and, well, this whole thing is kind of bizarre. Natsume's fans are probably going on some kind of rampage, right? There's a rumor that some people got beat within an inch of their lives just because they were sort of dressed like Natsume's characters. Right. The worst part is that no one stepped in to stop them. In fact, the attackers were praised for what they did. These are likely the same kinds of people who defile Masamune's statue with flyers. They clearly lack self-restraint. The fans at the station seemed really passionate, too. It was almost like they were part of a cult. I'm checking some of the online forums. It looks like there's about a hundred threads created about this dude almost every day. And they're all positive. Not only that, but all of these IP addresses are from Sendai. That's crazy suspicious. This is definitely our guy then, right? That's true. We haven't determined his abilities as a writer yet. If 
he really is just some freakishly talented writer, then the jail here has nothing to do with him, and he earned all that praise, right? But there's still a chance he's our monarch too, ain't there? That's what we're gonna find out. Tomorrow, we'll go into town and see what intel we can dig up. If he's the monarch, then there's a good chance we'll run into some victims who've had their hearts changed, just like in Shibuya. Oh yeah, we should probably let Inspector Gramps know too, huh? Good idea. He might be able to give us some other clues too. Okay, well, I guess we should all probably hit the hay. We've got a busy day tomorrow. So... Why the hell are we sleeping up top? Might as well be sleeping outside. Ain't it gonna be cramped? There's nothing we can do. There isn't enough room in the car. Besides, it's not as bad as you say. Back when there were more students at the Atelier, it was quite normal for us to sleep huddled together due to lack of space. Man, you always keep cool in the weirdest possible way. You know that? Come on, guys, are we really just gonna call it a night? Shouldn't we, like, all be playing cards till super late or stargazing or something? Ain't that the kind of shit we're supposed to do on a big trip like this? You're missing the point, dude. Forget it, Luigi. We're up early tomorrow anyway, so you'd better get some rest. Man, it's gonna be hot as hell with three of us and Morgana, ain't it? Very true. That fur certainly won't help things either. Oh, what do you want from me? I can't help that I'm a cat. Not that I'm actually a cat, though. Guys, shut up. Oh, shit. Sorry. Wrong. Not like that. Like this. This.